we already watched this one. Oh, we did. So why are we watching it again? Because it's a masterpiece and it's so beautiful and... I and so sad. Do you like to be sad? They could have had a life together. Stop it! I'm crying already! I like the vibe of the movie and it has its moment and it's probably an unpopular opinion but I feel like Simon's whole character is being gay and being in trouble for being gay yeah like sure the straight should out themselves it's a funny scene I get the joke but wouldn't it be better if no one has to out themselves like it's just love and I, and I, I mean, look at Simon's dad. Simon's dad has more character arc than Simon himself. Yeah, you know, I just want to enjoy a movie and not go into deep talk every time. Sure, fine. Do you want an Oreo? <laughs> I think what I like about this movie is that it's based on a true story and how much Lily actually did for the trans community. I agree. Her story feels very true to me. I mean, I can feel her Tell pain, me. her wishes, the masquerade. I know it's still super hard to be trans these days. I mean, I'm look at the laws of some countries, <coughs> you say. <coughs> <coughs> but back then, you were fucked. Indeed. Do these I'm still together. a little sad that I didn't cast a trans woman to perform. Eddie's doing a great job, though. Okay, yeah, but... Maybe no trans woman wanted to be seen as a man again. But I mostly agree. Wow, this movie makes me sick. Me too. This is a grown-ass man abusing a teenager. I meant homesick. For Italy. Oh, I believe that. The locations are gorgeous. What do you mean with abuse? Elliot is giving consent. Even more, he's like pushing himself onto Oliver. Yeah, but he's a teenager. Oliver is an adult, he should know better. Yeah, but... There is no but. He's an adult and he should act like one. Even though I like the representation of the struggle of gay men at the time. Yeah, I don't know. They show like a very privileged family. Others wouldn't accept a gay or bisexual son. Even though Italy stopped any legal actions against gay people in 1887, which is compared early to others, but still. Wow, really? Yeah. I mean, you know, I like the movie, truly, Timothy is hot, but I think they could have made some stuff better. Definitely. Can we play back to the scene where he was topless? Oh yes, please. I'm mad. Why? I feel like this is a good idea dying in a bad movie. What? Let me explain. The start is amazing with showing the conflict of three different generations. Also, all of the family members love Ray and want the best for him, but their definition doesn't match with Ray's. He knows what he wants and he's willing to fight for that. Yeah, and he's again played by a cis female actress. I mean, Ali is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't done. Then we learned something about Ray. He isn't just a trans character, he has a personality and hobbies outside of just being trans. And there are also great moments in the show, for example when his crush says, oh, three of them against one girl, and Ray freezes and whispers, a girl. It sh shows how horrible it is that people are still so attached to their birth sex. Sure, yes. It was rude, but it shows real life difficulties. And you see him wearing a binder. Cool, I like it. If you want to flatten your chest, do it safely, kids, wear a binder. But again, they don't talk about it. If you don't know what a binder is, you will have you will think, what is this magic thing that flattens your chest? Yeah, I mean, you can Google. But that's not the point. And this could have been great, uh, with showing the conflict of all the parties. Ray, Ray's friends who support him, Ray's family having issues with it. But it turns into a strange family drama and it feels like the mom is the main character? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I see. Sure, it can be hard for parents to see that child transitioning, but maybe focus on the people who 80% of the day literally have suicidal thoughts and two-thirds of transgender youth try or take their life because of their gender identity. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 
I have, I have literally nothing more to add. Thanks. I just want to enjoy a movie and not go into deep talk every time. <sighs> okay, one amazing pride parade later. What do you want to watch next? Something fun. Something gay. Like? Have you ever seen Bros? No. You need to watch this. You're going to love it. Film up! <laughs> Use the remote. Okay. <laughs> this is still amazing and so funny. Yeah, it's a gay rom-com and it just wants to be like every other rom-com. But in gay. And it's doing its thing. I love it. It's amazing. Have I ever told you the story of how I watched this movie for the first time? No, I don't think so. Okay, we were on our way back from Atlanta, you know, riding an airplane. Yeah. And you fell asleep and I wanted to watch a new movie, so I started this one. In the airplane? Yes. And there was a woman next to me and it was an elderly woman. Oh, I know where this is going, uh-huh. Yeah. And then the sex scene started and she looked at me in terror and fear. Sure, she probably thought that I'm like a 12-year-old boy watching a soft on the airplane, but I'm a growing adult of 16 years, so damn it, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Sure. Yeah. So, she wasn't happy? No. She was so disgusted that she woke up her husband to switch seats with him. There is something wrong with the French. I know. Like, this movie doesn't make any sense to me. As far as I know and Google it, tomboy is the definition of a woman slash girl who dresses and acts like stereotypically seen masculine, but still want to be addressed as women and being called by their birth name. Mm, yeah. And now I'm watching a child born in a female body trying everything to appear as a male born. He even makes himself a penis, which is the definition of trans, as far as I know. But I will ask my favorite doctor, just to be sure. Even though I'm not an expert, I would agree. The title Tomboy doesn't make any sense. Because it's literally not a tomboy. Exactly. If they would have called it Michael, or my new brother Michael, it would have left room for interpretation. Like if they mean the main character or the unborn baby brother. And I would have been fine with that. Yeah, me too. But like this, I don't know. But I do feel like it's a great representation of a child being trapped in the wrong body and what kind of problems you have to face with that. But I don't understand the ending. Yeah, me neither. Like, the mother is mad. Okay, we talked about transitions being hard for some parents. But the solution is just that Michael has to tell everyone that He's a girl now? Just no. If they would have at least tried to understand him or send him somewhere where he, he could figure out his feelings. Yeah, it would have been way better. But like this, it's just punishment and done. What is that supposed to teach kids? Don't tell anyone about your gender identity or how you feel about your gender. Don't lie to your parents. I don't know. Maybe the French are on another mind game level, but like this, I just don't know what to, what to think about it. Yeah. There is definitely something wrong with the French. I like it because it's casual LGBT. Huh? I need your advice. You know, the characters are just there. And of course, there's a struggle here and there, but it's not centered about a big coming out. Oh yeah, you're right. I like that because it shows people, especially kids, that it's just normal. Yeah. Now we're talking. I love this so much. It has enough realism so I don't get annoyed by it, but it's also just so cute that I can just enjoy it. I agree. I also like the representation of a boy with an eating disorder. Yes, great job so far. Okay. Um, I feel like we already talked about this. Yes, we did, in another video. You can watch it over here. I started at 12 o'clock? I don't care what you say. This is gay. Medieval gay. I love it. Me too. What are you doing? Nothing. Why? It's the last episode of season two. It's self cannot to watch the last few minutes. Yeah, true.
I can't listen Poly to couples are a rare that. thing to watch on TV. Is that gonna happen to me? Yes, I know. I Especially know healthy agenda. couples who decide to be poly. Not forced or cults. Uh, but... No. But what? I don't know. It. I feel like it's getting a little bit drawn out. The drama seems to stay the same for a lot of the seasons, but... Season one is pretty good. Yeah, I agree. It gets me every time. What? His pain. If I wouldn't have been stuck in a Lotus Hotel for 80 years, this would have been my life. You would have been a codebreaker to save the UK from World War II? No. Only the gay part of the story. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. It's Twilight, just in gay and better. <laughs> yeah, and I love that the conflict is that she's a vampire and the other girl is a vampire hunter. Other than, you know, the gay. Yeah. Look at her, trying to kill her brother. Nico, stop smiling. This is really, really good. Yeah, even though it feels like it's a movie from The Hunter of Artemis, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the message is so important. Like, nobody should have to drive 500 miles just to get unpregnant. Yeah, I mean, sure, you should be aware of all the consequences, but still, it should be your choice to have a child or not. And by making laws against it, you just force people to other actions, like illegal clinics and doing shitty stuff to your body, and more. Yeah. <sighs> this is just amazing. Time's I love it. I need to hear the gossip. For your charity! Hey, demigods! We hope you liked this video. We hope you had all an amazing Pride Month. And were proud of yourself and got out to celebrate. Or yeah. could at least enjoy it uh, somehow. And hopefully your parade wasn't as short as ours. <laughs> And it was raining, and it, it was, was like, like 20 horrible, <laughs> but we had fun. But we had fun. The 20 minutes were fun. Good 20 minutes. Yes. Yeah, so if you have any movie recommendations or uh, wishes for the future, maybe we'll do this again. Mm -hmm. You can leave it down in the comments, also your thoughts. About, about this whole video. About Pride Did Month. you like some of the videos or movies we didn't like? Or do you don't like some, one of the movies or series we liked? You would be weird, but it's let us okay. Know. Just let us know. Yeah, and if, <laughs> before all of you are screaming, Heartbreak High! Heartbreak High will come in the Disability Pride Month video, so... Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the Disability Pride video or yes. any of our other cool stuff. Because the Disability Pride video is going to be awesome. Well, now everybody has expectations. Yeah, okay, it will be shitty, so no one of you has expectations. <laughs> okay. See you then, or maybe sooner. See you next time. Hopefully. Bye. Bye.